Hello. Hi, yes. Um, you are here for um, the guitar lesson, right? Yes, uh, I believe I talked to you on the phone earlier. Yes. Um, wonderful. Um, yes, well, uh, welcome to my home. Um, I'll have a studio ready in about maybe two weeks. We're just um, we're doing some construction right now. So we can't really use the facility, but um, since you wanted to start the lesson as soon as possible, um, yeah, it's okay, just uh, make yourself feel comfortable. Um, I'm going to, um, we're going to learn one song today. Um, it, you told me on the phone that you've never had a guitar lesson before, is that correct? Have you ever um, learned on your own? Uh, maybe mm, be jammed with your friends, you know? Or just uh, decided to learn a couple things on YouTube that is very common, you know? Oh, you, you haven't? You haven't? Okay. Um, no, that's fine. I just wanted to make sure to kind of get a, uh, a grasp. stand so that uh, we can have the best uh, lesson for you today. Um, well, seeing as you've never really learned about a guitar, I would like to um, first start off our lesson by explaining to you the what a guitar is. Next is the most obvious one here, the long, the long piece of wood right here. <laughs> it's um, this is called the neck. It's a very long neck, you know, almost like a giraffe, but um, it's a very long neck. Um, some these don't vary in size that much. Um, it'll vary in size depending. Yes, this part. 
instrument players without friends quite amazing because they need to know exactly where where on the, the neck to play the note and I found that to be very very amazing because personally these friends are very I almost rely on them I'm sure I could play now a couple chords without if I if there's a guitar without a friend or something now, because I've played for a long time, I could play a couple chords, but when you first start out, you're like, you want, you love these friends. Um, now, the thing about frets, though, when I, for example, tell you to play, let's say, the second fret, it is talking about the second position markers, they're actually just, just visual aids to help you kind of count easier, count easier to where the frets are, so you can memorize, for example, the placement of chords better. The position markers are also visible from the top here on this part of the neck. I don't know, I'll try to show you. strings, if you can see. Some guitars have 12 
strings. Um, and this is a very important piece, and it slightly elevates um, the strings in a manner that um, the middle strings are slightly kind of higher placement. If you can see, this actually the strings are not exactly exactly. thinking we could learn the song um, 
Stay With Me by Sam Smith um, because it uses three chords for the entire duration of the song and it just it's on like a repeat almost so it should be very very simple and easy for you um, yeah. chords are usually taught and grouped into families
this is your standard tuning that you probably stay with. The reason why I want you to know these is because um, I want you to later learn to tune it on your own and you want to know what you're tuning it to. Right? Even if you use a tuner, it doesn't, not all of them tell you which string you're tuned to. So, yeah. Anyway, you said
next lesson to memorize these chords and practice um, them. They don't have to sound clear yet, but I want you to know where they go. And I want you to practice constantly going from E minor to C to G. Because if you listen, that's the song. lesson, um, your fingers might hurt a little bit more, but uh, you did a really great job today, and uh, I'll uh, we'll schedule our next meeting.